Yo, what's good, YouTube? Zamcro here, aka Scoot, back with the International Trainers League. And okay, so we've had the semifinal, or excuse me, we've had the quarterfinals. First of all, we've had the season, the regular season, moved on into the postseason, where we have had the quarterfinals and the semifinals completed now. And there's only two teams that remain. And as you can see on the screen, we have the logos and um, t two mons from each team. Uh, who have showed out in first the quarterfinals and then the semifinals. Um, so to recap what happened, Marin Varen, coach of the uh, Zagreb Zangooses on the left-hand side, uh, Roserade showed off in the quarterfinals, able to pick up a win over Helmy and move on to face off against the Sebi VGC in uh, the semifinals where... <laughs> It was a little bit unfortunate, but we've all nonetheless put in the work and was able to clean up the game. And uh, on the other side, on the Jodo Conference, that was the Kanto Conference we talked about first. On the other side, we had the Jodo Conference where Aki VGC was able to defeat Eric and his Reno Reggies in round one of the playoffs during the quarterfinals, advancing to face off against the Sydney Sharpedos, coached by Gypsy King. Who, again, uh, both of these semifinals matches was absolutely disgusting in terms of luck and RNG, flinches, paralysis, things like that. Um, and <laughs> hopefully, that's not what we're looking, you know, going to be looking forward to in the in the finals. There, that would be no bueno. So hopefully, we do have a clean final. So what had happened? was Aki was able to win go on to the finals here. Marion able to win and go into the finals here. They have played, I believe, one time during the regular season where Aki was able to come up with a victory there. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to the next one a whole lot. Um, definitely looking forward to their rematch. Um, so, the reason for Roserade and Weevil being on screen, like I said, uh, Roserade put in the work in the qu uh, quarterfinals where it was able to come in on Mega Venusaur quite, quite a bit, take a few hits, synthesis up, be very annoying to Helmy, and uh, essentially Helmy just wasn't able to break the Roserade and was effectively walled by it as well. So it was uh, problematic, and like I mentioned, the Weevil able to clean up in the semifinals against Sebi, I believe it was a Swords Dance variant and just blew through things at plus two. Um, however, Mega Mall Wall, there was a pretty heat set um, Aki brought versus Eric. He brought a Rest Talk variant with, I believe, Play Rough and Power Up Punch. Uh, very, very cool to see. Uh, was actually put in a lot of work as well. And Serp was a Glare set with um, Leaf Storm and a Hidden Power of Choice. I'm not exactly sure what Hidden Power it was. Probably Fire. Um, as, of course, Gypsy had the Magirna to switch in if he wanted to versus the Serp. Um, lots, of, lots of things happened in these playoff matches. Um, the quarterfinals was relatively clean. Like I mentioned, the semifinals was absolutely disgusting in terms of RNG. But what I did notice was both... All four players in the semifinals ple uh, prepped extremely well. So if there was no RNG, those would have been some fantastic games that I could just watch over and over and over. The, these guys prepped and played uh, fantastically. It was unfortunate that, you know, players that had so much success and, uh, and things like that had to have their season end in such a, you know, tragic way. But yeah, that's going to be it. Um, in terms of recapping it, and we're going to hop into uh, my predictions for the semifinal or the finals here, ITL Season 8 finals here. Let's hop into my predictions. So, the finals, I've said it before, so one more time. We've got Aki VGC, coach of the Portland Crobats, taking on Marin Varen, coach of the Zagreb Zangooses. Um, Aki is at this point 10 and 4 in the regular season and postseason, and the Zagreb Zangooses, I believe, are 8 and 6 in the regular season plus the postseason um 
eight and four and six and six without the postseason involved. So uh, Marin's got some threats like Mega Scizor, Victini, Tapabulu, Halucha, Rotom Wash, Licky Licky. Um, I can't think of any more off the top of my head. Um, uh, he's got the Weavall, the Roserade. Um, pre pretty cool squad. And Aki uh, on the left there, the Portland Crobats, he has Naga Nadal, Manaphy, Mega Mawal, Conkleder, Masharna, Excadrill, Tyranitar, Superior. Um, he's got a lot of different options as well. Uh, both players have plenty of offensive um, setup. Um, defensive annoyances. Aki's got Smeargle, which can, you know, run any kind of hazards or you know, annoyances like Glare, Nuzzle, um, Magic Bounce, things like that. Licky Licky gets Wish Protect from Marin Baron, and that's very annoying. He did actually bring a Swords Dance variant in week one, so that's something to look out for. Um, he's got Halucha with Bulu, so he's got the Bulucha core there. Pretty cool. Um,. In terms of matchup, it's tough to say, but I believe I would give the matchup to Aki. Um, he, he just has a lot of different ways to combat uh, Marin, in my opinion. Um, however, I feel like Marin has definitely been able, like, if he lost to somebody in the early season, I feel like he was able to, you know, throughout the season, he was able to uh, hone his squad um, to, to the best of its abilities. Um, it's tough. I, I'm not going to do a, I am going to do a pick em, but not just yet. I'll, I'll do it at the end of the video. So, thinking about things like Nasty Plot and Naga Natal, it's very offensively threatening, but last time, Aki actually brought Naga Natal as a defensive Pokemon to check the Bulu. Uh, which is pretty cool. So that's something that could be another possibility. Uh, Mega Mawal has offensive capabilities, obviously. Um, Marin does have the Mega Scizor, but Mega Mawal gets Fire Fang. He, gets, he has the Victini, but it gets Sucker Punch. So maybe like a subset could bypass Mega Mawal's uh, Sucker Punch. But Aki's got Manaphy as well, which is very, very threatening. Um, and could be used to kind of, you know... It, it, if not break through and sweep Marin's team, um, it could just leave it at a point where things like Naganadal or Conquador or Sandrush Extra Drill or even like uh, Mega Mawal under Trick Room if he was to bring like a Masharna Conquador Mega Mawal Trick Room team or something like that. Lots of different options for both fellers. Um, like I mentioned, they did play earlier in the season. I would like to recap that match before we go into the finals, but uh, that's... That's a little, that's something that uh, probably uh, not appealing to anyone if, if I just recapped another game uh, from earlier in the season. So, uh, basically, um, I, I guess I've talked about the matchup a little bit. I've talked about the players in general. Um, Aki's coming off a big RNG win. So I don't know if that's going to play any kind of mind games. I think in the finals he will bring his A game. Uh, Marin Varen, like I mentioned that throughout the season, he was high, he was a hopped up player to my knowledge. I hadn't like I didn't know of him before the ITL, and uh, Gypsy gave him praise. Other players gave him praise. So I was looking forward to seeing him play all season. And towards the end of the season, he turned it up and showed me exactly what I was looking for. So if he brings his A game and Aki brings his A game to the finals and there is no RNG that is very influential, then this could be a very, very fantastic finals. But yeah, so I'm going to give my vote. Um, I'm going to vote for the Portland Crobats because I just don't see myself voting against Aki VGC. He always plays fantastic in playoffs. Um, however, if Marin Varen won, I would not be upset. This is, uh, I'm a fan of both of these guys in terms of their builds and plays. So, uh, that's going to be it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.